We had a conversation about what, what was important to architecture, this idea of poetics and the notion of how a meaningful process gets designed. And we wanted to find that common element between everything. Um, and one common element between every single living thing in the world is carbon. So that's why we say carbon design and architecture, designed for life. We're interested in not just designing for our space, but also Mother Nature. So we want to have that environmentally transparent project that Mother Nature looks at as part of her own. I think what makes Carbon different from all the other firms is that we focus on service first. We support service with technology and we have it underlined with sustainability. The focus on technology was never a focus on it for its own sake. It was always a question of solving problems quicker, better. We're trying to solve problems and we're trying to arrive at better solutions through visuals. Our whole goal is to pre-visualize alternate versions of the future. One of the other interesting things about Carbon is the, the, the talent that we've got and the talent that continually approaches us. The designers that work with Carbon are constantly passionate about their specific things that translate back to the owner and the clients that we work with. It's not the standard paint, vinyl, nylon finishes. And I find that very refreshing. And the whole team spirit, everybody working together. And if someone needs something, they will stop and help the other person. I love it when people get their CEOs and they're happy with their building and you know they're, that your client is happy because they take all the credit for the design work. That's when you know you did a good job. It's a firm that believes in uh, having a positive impact on the environment. And that is one of my core beliefs within the field of architecture, uh, to positively impact uh, the environment, to build in harmony with nature rather than against it.